Whew, more junkyard crew, man. We got a beautiful Sunday morning uh, upon us, man. Um, shit, the Elko been doing good, man. We drove it the last two days. Uh, drove it to work Friday night, and shit, drove it yesterday, and it did pretty good. So it still got just a little, a little scrub here in the back. Um, you could tell that that fender wheel kind of getting uh, ate up, but. It's barely just a little bit of scrub or something, so nothing too crazy. Hopefully that alignment fixes that. Um, and other than that, man, we've been doing a lot. Put a radiator in this car and, and some more stuff. And I got clips of all the, the little stuff I did to it. What the? Big ass grasshopper, bro. Who did you in like that? I'm by my car. <clears throat> well, junkyard crew, man, this Elko is leaking. Like this radiator got a crack in it, man. Let's see if we can zoom in and see this. It looks like we're gonna need a new radiator, man. Well, I'm glad it happened before we uh, really started driving this car. Sheesh. We'll see what that hits for. And, uh, man, I guess we might be able to do that this evening. We'll see. And, uh, man, I really just went out here to tighten it up because I seen it was leaking when I came outside. And then, boom, I turned it. Everything just came out. Yeah, it's fucked up. Well, junkyard crew, man, we just put a radiator in the El Camino. I kept wondering why my shit was bubbling up like it was getting air in it. Oh, shit. shit. So we're going to let this thing warm up, man. I did have to tighten up that uh, lower uh, transmission cooler hose. It was leaking at first, but it's all good now. So uh, we'll see how the car runs now that we got a radiator in it. It was unexpected. Um, like I said, when I was just leaking it. get this uh, little leak taken care of and then uh, we'll let y'all know what it's running like. Alright, well we got this little leak taken care of. I just gotta fill this up, make sure we ain't got no air in the radiator. And we should be rolling. So we'll give it a second, see if uh, we can get some more air out of here. Otherwise, I think we got a nice full radiator. Oh yeah, I can feel that, the heat in here now. 
And we got these shocks off, man. We got these new things on. So we got front and back done. That's the driver's side there. So we about to drop the car down. We're gonna crank this thing up. And we're gonna see what it do, so. Whew. So we bouncing good. Let's drop it down. Hopefully that gave us all the clearance and, and space we need. Oh yeah, so I got a lot of space now. I don't even want to go down. It's a little tight right there, but everything else looks pretty good. Sitting up nice. Well, let me go get the keys, man. We'll start this thing up and uh, we'll see how it does. Good with these shots. We still got the The rest of this mug is feeling real good. I'm happy with how these shots made it feel. And once I get the alignment, everything should be good, but I won't do no more modifications until um, I got my alignment, and then I'll make sure everything's just right. But right now, I feel like I can dry that mug and all that. Where is that? All the fronts. That compared to the last drive was two different things, man. So, uh, man, the only thing we really got rubbing here is gonna be this this right here in the back, man. Y'all can see that. Um, I'll probably take that down after my alignment. And, you know, that's just broken in parts, so it kind of fit perfect. So man, the Elko man is damn near drivable. I just want to get the alignment done, and we're gonna drive this mug for real. Yeah, baby, go ahead and burn some of that old shit up out you. Wash it down. We'll get you ready. Junkyard crew, man, we made it to working home successfully, man. And whew, I love how this car drives. 
Man, marker light. I don't know what happened to this mug. Must have blew in the wind or something, man. So uh, we're going to get lights going all the way around this thing next. Because um, I definitely still need this damn tail light. Um, what else? What else? Mm. And man, we got just a little scrub left, but I'm waiting for my alignment. And then we'll put some uh, new tires on this thing. And uh, we should be cool. But right now, I'm not too worried because we can just eat up the, the bad tire and, and not have uh, to worry about wasting no bread. Get my money's worth out of the tires. But, uh, man, this Elko, man, it got a lot of looks, man. A lot of a lot of people told me it looked good like this. And I'm like, well, shit, thank you. Appreciate you, man. You know, we still need paint, man. You know, this old-ass paint got the the fades the chips and shit that's about it some corrosion some, some scuffs and shit so um, it's nothing nothing too wild but the body's straight so i'm i'm happy with that uh, shit i'll probably be driving this car all day today we'll see how we're doing the heat with this new radiator um whew, i love the elco so today, man, I don't think I'll be doing too much work on nothing. Uh, my homegirl's supposed to come over and put a regulator in her car. We'll see if she show up. Um, and then what else we got, man? Oh, man. Junkyard crew, man. I did go look at a, a muscle car yesterday, too. Man, Junkyard crew, what y'all think about a 72 Buick Skylark, man? Yeah, I need this in the collection. So, uh, man, what y'all think about a 72 Buick Skylark, man? So, I think, I, I think, uh, I can't even say I think, man. I bought that motherfucker. I ain't even gonna lie. I gotta make some room so I could bring it to the yard. I damn near about to give this Delta away. Um. Let's see, I started taking some of this shit apart. So really this wiring and stuff is, is the worst part that's burnt up in this fender well. Everything else back here is pretty straight. So really it's just this top top part. So I think this car just needs a distributor, a carburetor, and probably some intake and wire harness and it should be good. But I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing yet. I think I might give it away. We'll see. Um, give away a part out i just it's just getting worse sitting here and, and uh i don't feel like doing work to this car once something happens to it like this after i have it i don't, I don't be wanting it no more um, so we'll see what we do with this um, but uh man yeah that buick i won't be uh bringing over here probably till tomorrow or something we'll see i don't even know what i'm gonna do with it yet um, and then after that man shit I don't know. We might be outside today. We'll see. But uh, I'll put all my little clips together of everything we did to the damn El Camino. Um, and then everything else we got going on, man. So let's see what we got. Colorado got webs. <laughs> 